you know, title commands are cool and all, but like windows are like so last year. You, you gotta like keep up with the hip new trends of, of 2017. Yeah. Introducing the Title Picture Choices plugin, an extension plugin to the Title Command Customizer that allows you to use pictures for choices on your title. Of course, the first thing you want to do is go into your game folder, images, some random dude, create the title folder, then input all the command images you want to input right here. As you can see, they're formatted so it's going to be an unselected version and a selected version side by side, split in two within that image like this. Next, go to the title command customizer and make note of all the commands you're using. As you can see, each command is customized with a specific command one label, command two, command three, etc, etc. Then go to the title picture choices, go down to each command right here and input the file name of the picture you wish to use for each corresponding command. For example, we're going to use a new game image for command one. And as you recall, back in the title command customizer, command one is going to be the new game command thingy right here. So yeah, as you can see, command two is continue, command three is options and command four is shutdown. And then corresponding to all of those, command one is the new game image, command two is a continue image, command three is the options and command four is shutdown just like that and then once the game is run as you can see here those images are being used for the commands or choices or whatever for the game so yeah it's it's a it's a thing the faded out ones refer to ones that can't be chosen because they're not available and you can just click on it and it starts your stuff now by default each command is going to be positioned right in the place where the normal command would usually appear but of course if you just specify a specific x or y position you could do so by just putting in like an x and a Y relative to the screen. And now as you can see here that the new game's up in the up in the top corner at 3030. That was that was probably a bad choice for me to put it all the way up there, but yeah, you get the point. Awesome. But yeah, you can take all these commands, position them right where you want them, and make them just exactly how you want them to look and stuff. Just remember the columns and rows can be changed in the title command customizer like before. So you can make it so rows maybe like four, make the columns one. Maybe set the Y position to maybe uh, just minus 24 like that. And then, well, bam, the command window looks like this. As you can see, it's a little spread out, but we can fix that. Within the title picture choices, you'll find the line height parameter, which determines the line height, which separates each command. By default, this is really high, so it like adds a bunch of good separation between each command. But if you have more of like a, you know, a vertical command window section like that, you may want to set this lowest, like, I, I don't know. 40, 48, like that. And then, wha bam, it's, it's more close together and looks good and stuff. So, y yay, awesome, cool, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, the highlight frame right here determines whether or not there's gonna be a highlight frame for the images. As you saw earlier, each image is split into two parts, the unselected part and the selected part. But say, for example, you just want one consistent image for those, you know, pieces. Simply set this to false right here, and now, instead of separating it into two separate parts, one for unselected and one for selected, it'll just use one selected frame for those images. The disable opacity simply determines the opacity of disabled commands. For example, when the continue window does not have any like save files, it'll just be not available. So it'll be disabled. So you, it's opacity it would be a 170 out of 255. The animation duration determines the duration of the animation when the thing is highlighted. For example, when you select something like, I don't know, continue, it's going to shrink up to a certain size and be highlighted at a duration of seven frames. The scale animation determines the scale growth of the image when it's selected. So as you can see, it's set to 0.2 or 20% growth, which is why it grows a bit more when it's highlighted. Of course, we can set something bigger like 0.3 like that. And now, as you may be able to tell, it, it grows up a little bigger. So yeah, it's, it's up to you what your preferences are. So yeah. Finally comes the X animation and Y animation. These lines set an X offset and Y offset that occur when the, you know, command is, is selected. So for example, it just takes so the X animation, set it to maybe negative 30, and that'll mean it'll move 30 pixels to the left. In fact, let's make it bigger. Like, I, I don't know, 90, like, like that. Now, as you can see, when one of these commands is selected, it'll move 90 pixels to the left. So now I can do like this and, and make it so it shifts to the left as a part of its animation. Yeah. Something like this may work well if you put it all the way to the right. So for example, if you go to the title command customizer, set it just be graphics.box with minus this dot width like that. Then bam, the title command is now customized to be on the left side of the screen and works like this. So yeah, that's, that's, that's that. Yeah, yay. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, download link to the plugin is in the description. I'll also have all the sample images used in this video available in the description or like where, where you can download the plugin so you can test them out for yourself and stuff and also maybe use them if you want. Uh, that's okay. Y yeah. And so, uh, 
that's that. And that's about it for this video. So uh, uh, until until next time. Last time on some random mini videos, the, the series. After spending an entire video of stacking Oreos as high as he could, no, no. The, they, the, they fell down and, and some random dude uh, uh cried for days. It was horrible. Anyway, uh, now now for the now for the next mini ep episode. I yay. So hey guys, after that traumatic incident in which just all the all the all the Oreos got destroyed and fell down. It was it was so tragic. I can't believe it. I've decided that I need to I need to upgrade my skills. I can't just sit at my desk and do nothing as just thousands and thousands of things just fall down after I stack them up. Which is why I come out to the wilderness today to test out and train my stacking capabilities through a training montage. L let's go. <laughs> Rising up, back to the sky Tried to stack, and it fell down Went the height, now I'm back on my seat Just a dude and his will to revive It's the eye of the Oreo, it's the thrill of the stack Rising up, so much higher than our rival And the last water bottle rolls around in the night and it's watching us all with the eye of the Oreo.